Hey guys, in this video, I'm going to show you the new gradient map trick to get amazing, beautifully enriched skin tone in Photoshop. But first, we are going to retouch the skin. We we'll smooth the skin using the Auto Face FX action. So if you come to the action panel, you click on the Auto Face FX and you play the action. And voila, it's going to automatically smooth the skin of your subject like this here was before and here is after it smooths the skin while retaining the skin texture here was before here is after it doesn't deform the skin it just smooths it and retain all the skin texture and you can see exactly how it works we duplicate this we rename this texture so that we can now boost the texture and make our image look more realistic more three-dimensional and look more beautiful so come to filter camera raw filter in the camera raw filter you are going to come to the effects you are going to add more texture to the skin more clarity and the haze come to the grain and increase the grain increase the grain size increase the grain roughness and what we are trying to do, we are trying to boost the skin texture. So you can see that the texture is too much. You reduce it. You reduce the texture. And just make sure that the values are not just too much. So that you do not create effects that look unrealistic on your skin. And then you adjust the grain roughness and size until you see that it looks good on your skin. So you see the before see how smooth the before is and see how textured the after is and the textures are looking beautiful so right now we are going to go back into photoshop click on ok to go back into photoshop next we are going to create a gradient map you are going to click on the gradient map to bring up the swatch and you are going to come to the basic you are going to create a basic black and white now come down here and create a point when you see that it brings up the hand icon click to add a stop so we are going to click right here to add a stop the location should be 50 now come down to the shadow now we have three points we have the shadow we have the mid tone and we have the highlight so we are going to come to the shadow in the shadow we are going to click on the color to bring up the color right here in the color you are going to come down here to the hex code you are going to impute to this secret hex code you are going to impute the 945721 hex code we are going to click on the ok come to the mid tone click on the color we are going to insert this hex code a7 5 F 2 E. Now you are going to click on OK. Come to the highlights. Click on the color. I'm going to write D 6 A 4 8 2. We're going to click on OK. Now I'm going to click on OK. And I'm going to come to the blend mode, change the blend mode to soft light. And I'm going to go on to image. Before you come to image, make sure you're on the layer max. Make sure you're not on the layer. Make sure you're on the layer max. Go to image. Click on apply image. Click on OK. Now click in the properties. Click on invert. Click on invert. And now you can reduce the intensity. Adjust the intensity like this. Take the intensity down and increase it until the point that you see that some of the details have been removed from the highlight, just like this. When you're okay, you can now take down the opacity a little bit. Now we are going to create a hue saturation. The hue saturation, we are going to take a hand picker tool and click on the skin to sample the skin. We are going to take down the hue to the right plus three. I'm going to reduce the opacity of this also. And I'm going to take a look at the before and the after. Here was the before and here is the after. 
and I'm going to create another hue saturation. Take the hand, pick a two, click on the eye. I'm going to take down the saturation. I'm going to take up the lightness. We are going to come to the properties of the layer max and I'm going to invert. I'm going to take our brush, make sure the foreground is white. Increase your brush size. My paint on the eye to remove the reds in the eye and make the eye look more beautiful. Now you're going to come to the teeth and do the same. Make sure the foreground is white and then paint on the teeth to make it appear white. If the effect is bleeding to the skin, you invert the foreground to black and you gently remove the effect. Here was the before and here is the after. Now we are going to group the skin tone. Now we are going to group the layer we created for the skin tone. And I'm going to create a layer max. Make sure the foreground is black. Take your brush. Make sure the foreground is white. Now we are going to paint on the skin to reveal the effect only on the skin. Make sure your opacity is 100, the flow is around 50. Very nice on 49, which is okay. Now you paint on the skin to reveal this amazing and rich, beautiful skin tone. Now let's take a look at the before. See the before, see how washed out the skin tone is looking. Now see the after. See how in which the skin tone is looking. And also, don't forget how we got to the smooth skin. Don't forget how we got the smooth, realistic, retouch skin. We use the AutoFace FS action. The link is in the description to get the AutoFace FS action. It's going to save you a lot of retouching time. You just need to remove the pimples on the skin, apply the AutoFace FS action. And with just that one click, you are going to automatically get this beautifully retouched skin. Then you go for that to color grid. It's going to save you a lot of time. You are going to retouch more images, make more money for your photography business. So check the link in the description to get the AutoFace FS action right now. It's just $1. With just $1 contribution to the channel, you get the AutoFace FS action. Please don't forget to subscribe to this channel for more helpful tips, tricks, and photography tutorials. Happy to be part of your creative journey. See you in another amazing tutorial.